1992, Garrett Morris appeared on Martin as Stan Winters, the owner and founder of WZUP radio station. After two seasons, Garrett was written out of the show. He made a guest appearance in season three, only for his character to never be seen or heard from again. His disappearance from the show didn't make many headlines back in the day, and close to 30 years later, fans are still confused about what happened. What many don't realize is this wasn't the only time Garrett left the program abruptly. Before we get started, don't forget to scoop up a bag of turkey, bacon, or brisket beef jerky, cheddar bacon popcorn, and gummy sour bears from rrgsnacks.com our online concession stand that has thousands of five-star reviews. To give you a better idea of the issues Garrett has faced in the industry, we have to take you way back to 1975 when he was hired as one of the original cast members of Saturday Night Live. The New Orleans native admitted to CBS News, At that time, I was very much an introvert, and I had a cocaine problem, too, which was adding to it. Over the next five years, Garrett became a household name with characters like the Dominican Mets baseball player Chico Escuela and a Weekend Update segment. Sadly, things weren't so great behind the scenes, and a book called Saturday Night, A Backstage History of Saturday Night Live exposed Garrett's tumultuous time on the program. As the only black cast member, Garrett often played stereotypical roles. According to the book, he had issues asserting himself, and therefore the writers took advantage of him. His willingness to play controversial characters, including the role of a monkey in a Wizard of Oz skit, also caused some backlash in the black community. Garrett told Essence magazine he was, quote, virtually ignored by the black press due to his willingness to participate in skits that were deemed racist. When Bill Murray joined the cast and was pushed into superstardom, Garrett was pushed to the side and slipped into addiction. From the third season on, Garrett was freebasing cocaine, and it reportedly drove him into a state of paranoia. He would reportedly hide out in his dressing room to do substances. By 11 o'clock on film nights, someone would always have to hunt him down to bring him on the stage. He often claimed an invisible hypnotist robot was controlling his actions. His paranoia got so bad that his limo drivers reported Garrett would have conversations and argue with people who weren't there during his commute to the studio. Other sources claim that walking past Garrett's office was always a terrifying experience because he would often throw things at people walking down the hallway. Garrett told The Hollywood Reporter that the show's producer and creator, Lorne Michaels, had several reasons to fire him, but he never did. Even other people begged Lorne to get rid of Garrett. Garrett said, It wasn't just writers who wanted me gone. It was some NBC executives, too. After five seasons, Garrett was no longer a part of the cast, and he didn't leave on good terms. He told The Hollywood Reporter, I take credit for creating a lot of enemies on the set, legitimately, who had legitimate reasons to hate my guts. The reasons surrounding his departure from SNL have been shrouded in mystery for decades, and Garrett won't confirm if he quit or if he was fired, although all signs point to the latter. Now, let's fast forward 12 years to 1992. By this point, Garrett had built up an impressive resume and snagged the role of Stan Winters on Martin. By Garrett's own admission during an interview with CBS, he was still battling addiction during his time on Martin. Towards the end of season two, Garrett was walking to his parked car around 12.50 p.m. in Los Angeles when two men approached him from behind. He told Black Doctor website that since he's a first-degree black belt, he was able to free himself and kicked one of the men in the side. Garrett said the suspect was so embarrassed by what happened that he pulled out a weapon. The incident ended with Garrett suffering gunshot wounds to the chest and the arm. He told the website that when he arrived at the hospital, he slipped into a coma. Garrett went through a series of operations. While recovering from his fourth surgery, he received the show's script, and it included a storyline of Stan selling the radio station. Garrett said, I asked, does that mean that I'm gone? And of course, the answer was yes. 
Garrett filmed a scene from his actual hospital bed to tell Martin and the character Sean, played by John Grise, that he was skipping town, selling the radio station, and was in need of $20,000 to settle his debt. Weeks after being discharged from the hospital, the LA Times reported one of Garrett's gunshot wounds became infected, which led to even more problems. He underwent about 10 major operations. He wore a colostomy bag for eight months and spent the next year in a wheelchair. He fell into a depression, but eventually decided to focus on the things that made him happy. Garrett returned for an episode in season three to open a restaurant with Martin called Marty Mart's Meatloaf and Waffles. After that episode, Garrett's character was never seen again. During an interview with Netflix, Garrett still questioned why he was fired. He also blamed his termination on Martin, since he was co-executive producer of the program. Garrett added, Not only did he fire me when I was in the hospital itself, but then went around telling people in interviews that he came and sat by my bed and cried and stuff like that. After his time on Martin, Garrett focused on his recovery got married to a woman named Frida, and has had steady work as an actor, including an eight-year run as the character Earl on Two Broke Girls. During an interview with CBS, Garrett also revealed he has been substance-free and kicked his habit sometime around the 1994 robbery attempt. When the cast of Martin reunited in June 2022 for a BET special, fans noticed that Garrett wasn't invited to participate. We'll probably never know why he was snubbed. And Garrett is more focused on staying booked and busy as a veteran in the entertainment industry. He celebrated his 85th birthday in 2022, and we wish him nothing but the best in his life, his career, and his journey through health, healing, and recovery. Let us know if you're shocked by what happened to Garrett Morris. And thanks for watching RRG.